Alright guys, back for part two, uh, just like before. Um, now you got your rip off, I'm gonna be showing you how you take off your ASA. I like to take off the ASA before doing, taking off the grip because it'll just pretty much help you out a lot. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that on the gun. Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Tony, you don't have to come over here. I'm just gonna put it back up as soon as I found it. Alright, here we go. Alright, it's a medium sized down key. I'm not sure what size it is, but it fits right in this screw right here. Tony, if you zoom into that right there. This is, this, when you unscrew this completely counterclockwise. Alright, don't take it out. Just leave it in there. Just, just so it's loose. And then the entire. ASA will come off, uh, take off your remote, uh, macro line by pulling up, up on the thing and pushing out. And now, here comes the ASA. The ASA, it will be touched over there. Alright, now under the ASA you have your little rail. Now, with this, you get your same Allen key that you unscrewed these screws with on the grip with. And... They will go. Oh no, sorry, I'm very sorry, guys. It's the same allen that you used to unscrew the this screw right here. Now all you gotta do is um tighten these clockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise to unscrew. Clockwise will tighten it up. Yeah, and I'll show you a better view. Here, these two screws. Clockwise turn them. Clockwise now. They'll be tight. These will get loose on you once in a while. That's why I don't like the ASA on the SLG stock. So the problem I have with it. And now you tightened up your um, ASA rails right here. So now you're good with that. Always tighten this screw up before game so it doesn't get loose on you. Alright, so now. You got that done. Alright, now taking off the grip frame. Also, cleaning the eyes. Take yourself a little Q-tip, like this. After it gets damn in play, and you just, you know, go around in there. Get all up in it. Alright, here we go. Get on the other side of these babies. Go in there, around, walk up on. Should be like a little bit of um, gun wax on there. All right, now this is what the gun should be look like. Next thing I like to do is take off your ASA. Just unscrew it counterclockwise. That's all it is. All you guys asking is the ASA good? It's a good ASA, yeah. It's good for stock ASA. Getting the hyper three reg from for the uh, from the DM9. Um, I'm gonna stick mine. I'm gonna get a hyper on there. So it'll be consistent, it'll be very nice. Shoot the ASA over there. Alright, now the gun will look like this. Okay? Here we go. So UL frame. You look down here. There should be no detents, no eyes should be sticking in there. Alright, here we go. Right down there. Next thing I'm gonna do is be a pro and take this size arm key, which is the same size to unscrew these screws in the grip. Okay? And simply turn your gun this way. Okay. Unscrew this baby. Counterclockwise always. Everything that when you're unscrewing is counterclockwise. It's made in another country, usually in the US. They're counterclockwise unscrew. I know on the Planet Eclipse Ego 08, the stock barrel two piece is counterclockwise to screw it together. Go ahead and move here. Go. Alright. That screws and screwed away. 
Make sure it's always unscrewed all the way. Don't put pressure on if it's not. I'm very sorry for the delay, guys. What the hell? Now you're screwing it back in, idiot. Yeah, yeah. Come on. I am, d dude. It wasn't screwing it. It's not screwing it. There, we go. there it is. Huh. I'm sorry about that, guys. I was acting a little idiotic right there. Now simply remove your grip. Okay. Okay. Here's your grip. Here's your eyes. I'm not going to take out the board like I said and show you what to do because I'm too lazy for that. And personally, I don't want anything to go wrong during this video because I've been playing Saturday. Show you what it looks like from here. Okay. Okay. Now your board should still work. It's not going to affect the board. Well, I want to see something really cool. Now that's sexy. normal semi what I've done so I don't get any breaks. I mean yeah, it's a little slow, but you'll keep a nice run you just have a steady speed. I mean I can single shoot this. It's sexy as shit. Alright, let's go. Turn the board off. Put this baby back bitch right over there. And this is what the entire body is constructed off. Oh, I'll take the freaking thing off for you guys. Uh, listen, I'm not going to do it. Alright, um, you want to screw because I have to tighten this up. I'm not in the mood to do that. Um, tighten this up all the way, your V neck, on this screw right here, until it's stiff, and then you counterclockwise screw it, and then the threads will just come right out. Um, so yeah, that's how you put in a new V neck. It's simple as hell. Um, this is trigger design. Alright. This is not the trigger, just. This is what tells it to shoot. So it releases the bolt, shoots the bolt forward, shoots it back, the bolt on, so it shoots forward, it hits the bolt, the bolt ejects out of the barrel, and so on. Alright, I'm not going to take this off because it's a bit shoot back on. A little screw in there, it, there's a little notch right in the bottom of there to put it all back together. It's simple as well. Just, I'm not going to do it. Alright, now putting it back together. You're on your own, guys. Not kidding. <laughs> Alright, we reached eight minutes. Alright, so. Alright, this is going to be part three coming up, and we're going to be putting it back together.